Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again, we've got access to five amazing assets free for this month only. You can keep them permanently after the month has ended, however, you can only claim them this month. So what we've got this month around is the Easy Combo Buffering, Greek Island, Lush Stylized Environment Set, Procedural NPC Crowds V2, and the Modular Victorian House. So let's just get right into it, showcasing these with the Easy Combo Buffering. So this allows you to add combo input buffering system to your project in a couple of minutes. This will let your players send an input for a move before the last execution is finished. And this mechanic is essential for fighting games that encourage player skills. So essentially think of any fighting game where you can create a combo, so left click, right click, right click, left click, for example, that is something you can make using this system. So this is easy to use. You can create unlimited combo inputs. You can create the combo branching method. Melee weapon system is also included. There's dual weapons, a ground and air combo, and example combo animations are also included as well. And everything is well commented so you can understand what it is doing. The input for this is keyboard and mouse, and it says that there is network replication on a basic level. So I guess it just means you need to go in and really see what it's doing in order to see if you need to do anything else as well. So this one looks absolutely fantastic. Next up, we've got the Greek Island. And this is a Greek Island with temple and villages. So this Greek Island environment contains 130 static meshes with LODs, light maps, and collisions. It contains all the props you need to create an environment, including rocks, props, temple modules, architect modules, oceans, and decals. All the assets are also scaled according to the epic skeleton. And on top of this, it also includes blueprints with splines for creating fences. So this features architecture modules for walls, houses, floors, and columns, small props, for example, vases, fish, wood planks, and fences. There is also an ocean blueprint, 130 static meshes, five decals used for grunge and ornament, POM is used on surfaces like bricks and sand, vertex paint used on houses, and procedural foliage. This does also include LODs, there are 13 materials and 59 material instances, and 145 textures, with the text resolutions being 2K and 4K. Next up, we have the Lush Stylized Environment Set. So the Lush Stylized Environment Set consists of 50 stylized and optimized meshes, and a simple stylized water component that are essential for anyone looking to create a beautiful stylized environment. So this includes 51 unique meshes, all of which have custom generated collision, and they do also include LODs. There are 12 materials and 33 material instances with five material layers and one material function. In total, there are 83 textures with the text resolutions being 512, 1K, and 2K. So some of the meshes that are included in here are rocks, trees, flowers, bushes, and lily pads. And again, there is also the stylized water component too, as well as a landscape material with six layers, those being auto, grass, cliff, sand, riverbed, and mud. So with the water volume, it includes a stylized surface water shader, a distance field based shore waves, decal based acoustics rendering, post processing based underwater and waterline rendering, and also full control over all the above features via a single blueprint. So again, I think this one looks absolutely amazing. If this is the kind of style you want in your games, this would work absolutely perfect for you. Now we've got the procedural NPC crowds V2. Now this is a framework for quickly implementing large scale optimized crowd systems with hundreds of AI on screen at once without lagging your game. As the game can normally lag very quickly as you are adding in all these AIs and this system alleviates that trouble. So some of the features of this are it is highly optimized, which again, as I've just mentioned, allows hundreds of AI on screen at once with high frame rates, and they said 60 to 100 FPS depending on the scalability. It's designed to be used with blueprints and it can be extended upon with your own functionality and behaviors. This utilizes behavior trees for customizability and optimization of NPC behaviors. Included behavior tasks are written in C++ for fast execution. It utilizes a procedural pathfinding system that allows the NPC to intelligently move throughout the world 
on their own with minimal logic needed. And this plugin allows you to procedurally set the skeletal mesh of the character or the material of said skeletal mesh. And finally, this also comes with optimization components for character classes that allow them to be loaded or unloaded from the level based on the distance they are from the player with only a single blueprint node. So if you're making a game where you want to have a large crowd, for example if it's an open world game set in a city, you might want to have a large crowd populating this city so it just feels more lived in, it feels more realistic, this would be perfect for that. You can just have pedestrians walking down the street, walking through paths, going into and out of buildings. Again this would work perfectly so you can have them all going along their daily routine without it also lagging and if they get too far away from the player they're going to disappear as the player isn't going to be able to see them anyway, again further optimizing the whole project. And finally, last but not least, we have got the modular Victorian house. And so this Victorian house is a ready game level with full modularity and about 1920 high quality assets for your game. So they've said that the Victorian house includes all the main elements of the gameplay to create a full game. So the project includes exterior, a living room, restroom, a kitchen, a pantry, a cabinet, a bedroom, an attic and a basement. And some of the technical details of this are it is a game ready level, a full modularity house, high quality furniture and decorative props, interaction with objects, inspection with objects, it's vertex paintable, it's got an outline effect and auto depth of field as well. In total there are 550 meshes, 72 blueprints, 417 materials and material instances and 884 textures with those text resolutions ranging from 128 all the way up to 4k and all the meshes do also have custom and automatically generated collision with 8 LODs as well. So again this is an asset pack for a Victorian house with all the rooms I've mentioned and then also some of the gameplay elements are the inspection and interaction and an outline and all that good stuff so you can use this to really just make your own game this is a good starter pack in order to be able to do that so again i think this one looks great so i think that'll be it for this video covering this month's monthly free assets on the unreal engine marketplace for december 2023 it is the last one of the year and we finished off with a bang i think this is saving about 460 dollars if i'm remembering correctly again this is the last one of the year been a great year where we've been getting loads of free assets once again it's been fantastic i love the fact that they do this and my favourite one for this month around is probably going to be the Greek island. And let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was this month. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you have found it helpful of me just showcasing and covering these assets. And once again also reminding you that there's five free assets that you can get to keep forever. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.